Well, here I am back again trying this for a second time now, and this is a video that I'm actually going to be able to upload, so there should be absolutely zero interruptions. Um, hopefully my phone won't ding. Um, so this is January the 3rd, 2018. We had a really amazing uh, winter storm move through, and where I am in Brunswick, Georgia, by the coast, um, Everything has turned to ice. Um, everything is iced over. And what I, I made a comment earlier and someone said that they wanted to actually uh, hear this. So I'm going to try to capture this sound. If I, if I can, I'm going to try to capture the sound. Um, and that is uh, that these uh, pine trees, the pine needles, there's the big moon up there smiling down on us. Um, all these pine trees are completely frozen, uh, frozen solid through and through. So, um, what I said was that when the wind rustles through these trees, it actually, um, makes a sound like a musical instrument that you've never heard before. And the notes that play on the instrument are um are the needles of the pine tree and so um i want to uh i want to try and duplicate that but i don't believe this phone is, or any phone really is going to pick it up uh, unless i kind of rustle one of the trees around myself i'm going to get up here nice and close because you really can't tell anything from uh far away so the ground is completely frozen down here. So I've got to be quite careful. Uh, here's some branches that fell, um, just collapsed under the weight of, uh, collapsed under their own weight. And well, you know what comes next? Crack, shh, boom. So here we have uh, an example of what it, literally this entire pine tree is. This is just frozen solid end to end all the way through these pine needles are. And uh, so you take that up to a much bigger scale and you have this entire limb here that's just dangling down. And then, um, you know, the whole tree, uh, all these trees right here... Um, are um are, are totally frozen through and through but what i want to do now first i want to show you uh just exactly how frozen they really are and this time i was smart and brought my gloves back out so check this out now all the you uh all, first of all to the green queens out there this would happen anyway the pine needles are dead they are frozen through and through so please don't be writing me about killing a few needles on a pine tree thank you in advance all right so check this out this is just how frozen these things are this is incredible watch this they will literally just break in half right off into your hands that's uh spectacular that's that's like nothing i've ever seen before now folks who are watching this from you know somewhere up north uh where you're used to snowstorms and 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 ice storms and things you know you're like uh what is this guy getting off on <laughs> for something that stupid well it's not stupid when it's the first time you've ever seen it so you got to put that into context all right so What I want to try and do right now, very carefully, is make sure that I'm not underneath anything. And I want to try to just sort of shake this tree uh, limb a little bit and see if we can catch that sound. Uh, it is really cool. Uh, give me just a second here and let me see. Here we go. Just listen to this.
obviously that's uh, <laughs> definitely not doing it justice and I feel like a complete moron, but that's cool. Uh, that's no problem. So what's happening is, is these little ice crystals are just clinking together, just clink, 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 clink way up there in the tops of, in the tops of the trees. And, uh, that's what's making the notes like this. Um, yeah, again, there we go. I'd be in a lot more luck if the, if the wind was blowing. So it's all good though. Last thing I want to do is just take you over here to this absolutely beautiful tree that, uh, that's frozen over. And we'll stop off at this one too and take a quick peek. Um, but, uh, again, being that it's at night, it just does not do justice to, uh, to what it really looks like. Um, everything, every, every leaf, every branch is just ice. Solid, solid ice. So beautiful. Um, so beautiful. All right, so that's that. And now I'll take you over to this tree, which, um, man, I wish that you could see what it looked like in real life because it's, it's white and because of the ice, obviously. But then it has kind of a different color to it because the moon is almost directly uh, above it. And so that moon is reflecting its color right back down on that ice and just making it this this mesmerizing almost blue color so here's this one that again is just uh, nothing but ice through and through get up nice and close and you can see that's just ice baby that's just ice all the way all the way to the bark of the tree it's just nothing but ice. And when the wind starts picking up, you just hear this clinking sound of um, what, I'm, what I'm guessing is all those pine needles just clinking together. And it sounds like uh, a little song being played. So that's the whole point of the video. And also just to kind of show you what, um, what the storm did to the trees so far in Brunswick, Georgia, in my little neck of the woods. Now, later tonight, the wind is supposed to pick up and uh, it's supposed to get to just around uh, sustaining somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 miles an hour, which is going to bring a ton of these big branches down. We already have a lot of these big branches that have been brought down all over the place, um, all over town, all over the county, all over the whole uh, um, southern part of the state. Um, and that's really nothing compared to what the storm is doing as it's, um, bombing, as they call it, it's going to be, uh, bombing the, the north, um, as it explodes, uh, with intensity later on, uh, tonight and into the weekend. So I really feel for the folks um, who are going to have blizzard conditions up in, uh, the Maine and New York area, um, Boston, Pennsylvania, etc. cetera. I, I really do, uh, my heart goes out to you. So, you know, just know we're thinking about you from, uh, from down here because this is just a tiny little fragment. This is just a, just a, just a drop in the bucket of what, what you guys are going to be dealing with. So, I really hope that um, that that you guys make it through okay, and um, no lives are lost because as long as you're prepared, which you you guys up there obviously would be, um, everything's going to be fine. Folks down here, you know, we aren't used to this, so they don't know what black ice is until they drive on it, and <laughs> a lot of people unfortunately had to learn. 
the hard way today and there were a lot of wrecks uh a ton of wrecks very early in the morning before the the sun even came up so last thing i'll show you is uh this is it's what happened to my right in front of my front door i actually had the door open i saw this whenever it happened this is a japanese plum tree um and unfortunately one of the largest limbs just broke right off um and and caved under the weight and there's just this big giant pile of ice on the ground that is obviously still staying there because it's in the 20s right now if anyone ever told me that it would be in the 20s <laughs> during the winter time in south georgia uh, again in my lifetime i i, I would have told them they were crazy so and not only that um this is uh just in in three days it will be four months from when the record shattering hurricane irma blasted its way through here causing the largest mandatory evacuation in the history of the state of florida the entire state of florida was under a hurricane warning um and now we have this just four months later, um, less than four months later. So that's that. I'm going to stop the video now. I hope you guys enjoyed just a little tiny tour of a really, really small example of what this winter storm did, uh, did to my, to my area. And with that, I'm going to bid you good night or good day or good whatever the heck it is when you're watching this. Take care and goodbye.